punch, David. Oh, he knows it's coming. This was a strange game, Markel. It was tough to come up with energy until you came in in the fourth quarter and put your team on your back. How are you able to do that tonight? I'm just being aggressive. I think that's my new motto, uh, my 2020 revolution. Just be aggressive, have fun out there, and try to compete as hard as I can to help my team win. And tonight, it just had to be uh, being aggressive and, and scoring the ball. Did you feel that? Did you feel the team needed your energy, needed your aggression here this evening? Uh, definitely. I, I felt like we was a little down, you know. Uh, it was a little sluggish in the first half, and um, my motto, I just kept talking to the guy, just telling him to pick up the energy. You know, we got to run. You know, both teams are tired, but that's what they made is about. Just pushing each other and get better and get through and get the W. Great defensive effort as well, holding this team under 100 points. How were you able to do that? What did you see defensively out of this group? Uh, I think we just tied together. You know, we knew they were going to shoot a lot of threes. Uh, I think we limited them to one shot, um, kept them off the glass. And again, we used our defense to push into our offense, get in transition. Career high night for you. I mean, how rewarding and satisfying, at least to this point. You got the win and to have performed the way you did. Uh, it's huge, uh, but the only thing that matters to me is the win. And um, tonight, that's all that matters. So I'm happy we got the W. It's a strange night. Nick Vucevic struggles offensively, but gets 23 rebounds. How would you see out of the big fella? Uh, I think that's just what this team is about. You know, when you can't score, you got to find other things to do. And tonight, you know, he contributed by rebounding, you know, boxing out, getting big boards, and, and helping us push. So, All right, lastly, this is a team you're chasing in the standings. You're now tied with them after this win. Obviously, the tiebreaker will be important. How big is this win for you, and how, how important would it be to close out the homestand the right way? Uh, it's huge. I think uh, every game that we come out, we want to compete and try to get the win, and I think this is moving in the right direction. So uh, I'm just glad that we got the W tonight. I know this was fun for you. Enjoy it. Congrats on the career high. Yes, sir. Thank you. You got it. Markel, no question about it, guys. Put this team on his back and willed the Magic to victory tonight. For Wes Awundu. And Wes joins us right now. We're happy to catch up with you. And I tell you what, Wes, we talked this morning about opportunity, right? And, and you told us you were ready. You put yourself in this position. And, boy, it sure paid off here this evening. Right, man. It was a great game today. Um, you know, the energy was a little sluggish to start off the game. And, you know, just tried to find ways to pick the energy up in the building. And, you know, just try to run away with the game, man. And we end up doing that in the fourth quarter. You know, what's interesting, it's hard to have energy, I would think, for all 82 games. But uh, what, what did you see? It just felt kind of sluggish from everyone, really, tonight. But uh, you ultimately were able to make enough plays. Right. Um, you know, just the good teams. And there's no excuses to be made. Um, everyone plays 82 games, you know, during the season. So, you know, for us, we got to come out every game with the same intensity and the same mindset to, you know, go out there, get to it on defense, and, um, you know, keep it up on offense and try to win the game. Wes, this is Coach Hill. For, for our fans back home, uh, talk about uh, the difference between coming off the bench and then all of a sudden being inserted into the starting lineup, and what's your mindset in a situation like that? Um, you know, it's a very different feeling. It's uh, right from the jump, you have to be ready. You know, as a player, you know, as soon as the ball goes on the air versus coming off the bench, you get a little time to watch the game and kind of get a feel for the game. But, you know, as a, as a starter, it's right away, man. So, you know, for me personally, it's just coming in with the mindset, um, taking me a good nap before the game and getting my mind right for the game. But I'm guessing, Wes, you don't mind starting? I'm guessing that's a <laughs> Never, never. It's nothing, never nothing wrong with starting, man. I love it. How about Markel Fultz, speaking of starting? And boy, I, he, when he came back into that game in the fourth quarter, mm -hmm. did you see the energy pick up with him? And what, what did you see from his career high tonight? Um, he was a leader out there on the floor tonight. You know, um, on this team, everything starts with Markel. You know, he has the ball in his hands a lot, and he took it upon himself to win us the game, honestly. And um, he just showed great leadership tonight, you know, throughout the team, man, and he got the job done. Wes, how, how do you and the other players feel? You know Coach Clifford wants the mark of this team to be its, its defensive intensity. Mm -hmm. How do you and the other players feel about that going into every game uh, as far as your preparation for uh, defensively? Um, man, that's just something we know what Coach Cliff expects of us, you know, as a team. Um, he talks about it so much. Like, it's it's got to be a natural thing almost to this point, you know, the de on the defensive end. So, you know, that's a big emphasis for our team, and it's something we got to rely on, you know, a lot every game. And, you know, it's, it could be uh, pretty tough if we're not, you know, getting to it on defense. So that's something we got to do every game. I think it's your seventh start of the season, Wes. What's different for you? Now you're getting consistent minutes. You said your production would go up. And mm -hmm. what's changing? You, you see, seem like you're feeling much more comfortable out there. Um, Dante, just getting into a good rhythm, man. You know, um, this is what I worked on. I've been working, you know, the whole summer, you know, for this opportunity, you know, to finally get it. You know, uh, it's a blessing. Thanks to the man upstairs. But, you know, it's just about getting into a good rhythm, finding my spots and doing, doing it consistently. All right. Well, terrific win here this evening. Let's uh, let's close out this homestand with another another one and go get Washington on Wednesday. All right. Thank you, guys. Nice right. job. So I would say probably for both teams, not the best game either team has played this year. Um, 
But in the, you know, the fourth quarter was good for us. And, we, you know, the, one of the things I liked was, you know, we want to run late. And uh, I think it was tied with seven minutes left. And uh, we had seven straight fast break points, I believe. So I think that's a good thing, something we can build on. Um, you know, we did some good things. Uh, they didn't shoot the ball the way they normally will. And, uh, you know, so it's a solid win. Kenny Atkinson said before the game, said when he was watching your film, he kept noticing Markel was jumping off the growth he's making. He, he noticed that. I mean, that's something you see every day. How, how impressed were you with the way he played tonight? Oh, he, it was the difference in the game, you know, late in the game. I think he scored. Didn't he score seven in a row or thought his defense was good again? And... Um, but no, I mean, uh, he had, well, he had the and one drive, but the biggest was up four, you know, like the four on four semi fast break, and DJ to his left hand draw, kicked it, and he hit the corner three, and that made it seven. So, um, no, no, I thought he was the difference in the game. And Vuce didn't score the ball, but I thought that, that he and Aaron Gordon on the glass were, you know, I mean, they got every rebound. So, Steve, at what point? In your familiarization of Markel, either watching his college games or some of his Sixer games, did, did you see that he had confidence down the stretch of games? I mean, how quickly did you recognize that? Well, I'll be honest with you. His college team, the games I watched, they weren't very good. So they didn't really – I didn't really see that, to be honest, because, you know, in Philly, he obviously – he didn't play late, um, you know – and uh, so I didn't really see him. I didn't see that in any film work, you know. And how valuable is it to see the point guard, the person who runs the offense, be able to take over a game for, for seven straight points and a tie game in, a, in an important game? No question. And he's made a lot of, I mean, he's made a lot of big shots uh, in the fourth quarter of games all year. So, um no, I think he, listen, again, he's played a ton of basketball. He's a confident kid, and uh, he's getting better and better. Cliff, uh, you know, 37 games in. Defensively, how would you rate this game tonight versus some of the others that you've had this season? I mean, I think the numbers are going to be good. I, I mean, to be honest, before watching the film, they're a good shooting team, and they didn't shoot the ball well. I mean, they had open shots. Uh, you know, I thought we were better as the game went on thought the first half was, you know, sometimes it happens this time of year. It was very low energy for both teams. And they're rarely, they play with a lot of juice, you know. Um, so I think we're going to watch the film and see that uh, the numbers are good. But frankly, they missed a lot of shots tonight that they'll normally make, I well, think. Mark Hills, he missed his first shot, and then he came right back and made his next four what did that tell you about his confidence right right off the bat, the way, you know, they were leaving him open, daring him to shoot, and he came right back and... and yeah, and I think he's been doing that, like, consistently, you know. I think he had nine of our first 12 points, I believe. Um, and, uh, like, when people play him like that, he's been, you know, he's very unselfish, obviously, but, you know, he's been stepping up and making, so... Um, you know, it's good for him, and it. You know, once they, once they start closing to him, then look out because he's going to live in the paint. There's a play tonight in the fourth quarter during, I think, that seven-point run. There's a play also against My Myers Leonard in the Miami game where he basically pushed off on the way to the basket. In other words, he played big. Are there other point guards who come to mind who play, who have played big? heading toward the hoop, in other words, can fight off a bigger guy to create space for himself? Uh, I mean, he's so physical. You know, I mean, going back in my time, you know, Sam Cassell used to play post a lot when he played. Um, you know, Mark Jackson, you know, was big. He didn't play. He's not athletic as like Markel, but he used to move point guards into the paint with a post-up game. Um, I'm sure there's other, actually, I mean, the other guy who against certain guys is really physical, Chris Paul, you know, he doesn't do it as much now, but when he was younger, he posted a lot and was very physical, but Markel has, I mean, he has size and even for this league, exceptional strength and athleticism.